Olivia and you're on my channel Liz Crafts and today I actually have a very exciting video for you guys because I am doing a collab with K Crafts DIY here on YouTube. I'll have her channel linked in the description box down below and if you are coming from her channel I just want to say hello and if you would please subscribe the button is somewhere down there and yeah I'd really appreciate that and yeah so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own DIY tumbler inspired arrow wall hanger decoration thing I don't really know what to call it yet but by the time this video is uploaded I'll have a name for it <laughs> so today I'm going to be showing you how to make that and it's going to be I, I, I like the decoration a lot it makes my room look a little bit more tumbler and neat and awesome and if you are from my channel make sure you go and check out um, her channel and like I said it will be linked in the description box down below and again if you are new to my channel then please check out my Instagram my Instagram is at livescrafts underscore it will be over here somewhere but my Instagram is at livescrafts underscore and you can show me your creations or recreations on Instagram using the hashtag see this CC it'll also be over here somewhere and yeah without further ado let's get into the video so you're going to start with a skewer stick or two or three and all that I'm doing is I'm putting an indent on the end with the point with my scissors so that I can just break that point off because for an arrow you're not going to really want a tip or a point like the skewer has so yeah and then I'm just taking a rainbow loom rubber band and I'm wrapping it around the top of my skewer and then I'm taking a safety pin no paper clip <laughs> I always get those two confused, but I'm taking a paper clip and then putting it on with the rubber band so that I can dip it inside of the paint and then I am going to be hanging it up and letting that dry. Once that is dried, I am just going to be taking my rainbow loom rubber band and my safety, nope, paper clip, again I did it, and then I am going to put the rubber band on the side that is now, that has just been dried, so the white part, so that I could dip the other part that's not white yet, um, in the paint, and then I'm doing that with all three of the skewer sticks that I am using to make three arrows. So now you're just going to dip the other end inside of the paint and you can um, hang it up after that and I'm doing that with all three of my skewer sticks and then you're going to let them completely dry. So I would let them completely dry for probably overnight or so so that they can dry and have a good um, white coat on them. So now you're going to cut out some feather shapes. I am cutting out feather shapes from colored paper and newspaper to kind of give the arrows an everyday um, unique feel. And then I am also going to be cutting out triangles for the end of the arrow, for the point of the arrow. And you are going to need two... Um, triangles for the tip of the arrow and then you are going to need two feather shapes for the other end of the arrow for each arrow so you if you have two arrows you're going to need four triangles and 
four feather shapes, but since I have three, I'm going to need six triangles and six feather shapes. Okay, so now what you're going to do is take two of your feather shapes, and I am gluing one of my feather shapes to the bottom part of the stick, so like the underneath of the stick, and then I'm taking my other feather shape and I'm gluing it on top of the stick so that the stick at the end is not visible. And then after that, I am taking the triangles and gluing them on, again, the top part of the stick and then one on the underneath part of the stick and then you have an arrow but make sure you be careful with the hot glue because it is hot glue and it will burn your fingers but just make sure that you are very very careful. Okay, so as you see here, I have arranged my arrows in this formation where one, the top arrow faces whichever way you want, and then the other one faces the opposite way, and then the top and the bottom arrows are identical. So that's how I'm setting mine up. You can do yours all one way, but I think that the opposite ways gives it a little bit more characteristic. And then I'm going to be taking some stretch cord. You can use um, any kind of clear um stretch cord it doesn't even have to be stretch cord you could use yarn or ribbon or whatever you would like but i'm using these stretch cords so that it kind of looks invisible against my wall but it's kind of obvious but it's okay um so then i'm just going to take the stretch cord and then you'll see how i'm doing it in the video i'm just taping it to the back of the arrows or the part of the arrows that i do not want to see that are going to be up against the wall or somewhere and then I am leaving, just make sure that when you're taping, you leave um, some cord at the top to give a, like a diagonal so you can tie this um, knot on top so you have a little bit of room to hang it. So now I'm taking the cord that is on top that I left for a diagonal and then I am just going to put them kind of together and I'm pulling them kind of um, taunt and then I am doing a slip knot formation so that I have a slip knot so that I have like a um, like a half circle oval type of thing where I can hang this up and then yeah it's more it's it's easier than it sounds, just watch this clip and then you will know exactly what to do. to leave your arrows looking like this and if they're too plain for you all I did was I scrolled through my camera roll on my phone and I sent some photos that I really really like to my email and then I printed them out to hang on the arrows.
did, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel and if you've made it all the way to the end of this video, please stay tuned to my channel because I will have more videos uploaded. And yeah, just like I said, hit subscribe down there. And yeah, make sure to leave me a comment for, well, any comment you want. Just leave it in the comments down below. It could be a video suggestion, anything really. And yeah, so I will see you guys all in my next video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. And yeah. Bye!